Good afternoon ladies and gentlemen and welcome to another Unity 3D tutorial. First of all I'm going to apologize for not uploading so frequently and this will be the first one in like a month so again apologies for that. But uh, we're going to get started with uh, creating a cursor for our MOBA. But um, currently I'm not using the cursor for the MOBA at all. In fact this is a single player game that I'm um, using. It's just I thought I might as well use this to display it. But yeah we'll just get it uh, over and done with really soon. So the game looks like this basically. Um, just walking around, um, Q. Hello. Hello. Uh, but then you got these little minion guys and these resources in la -di -da, but you guys don't care about any of that right now, uh, because we're just going to be focusing on this mouse right here. So I've made a few of them, I've made uh, these three so far, and I was going to think they're incredibly easy to make, and I thought I'd just share. Just share how I do it. Anyway, so we just open Photoshop for a second. This is going to be an incredibly quick one. So um, we want to create a new layer. Uh, and we want to go to the uh, polygon... Uh, what's it called? Polygon lasso tool. And um, we're just going to create the shape of our um, of our mouse, pretty much. So we can do any shape in the world. In fact, I might, I might change it up a bit. And I might go uh, do like something like that. Um, like I don't know, it might work, might not. Uh, like that, there we go, very cool. And um, we just paint that in with uh, the paint tool, and then we just deselect it, and we have our mouse kind of thing going on here. And it looks pretty bad right at the moment. But um, if we go to bevel and emboss, and we just set it to chisel hard, and set the size to just anything beyond that. Uh, limit which makes it look 3d kind of um, and then we want to go ahead and add contour and then it gives us some contour lines um, now the other thing I like to do is go make sure this is on inner bevel and then change the shadow up from black just a bit and then change the screen down from white just a bit there we go so it's not as harsh uh, we can go ahead and add an inner shadow we'll change it again to a much lighter color um, and then we want to go down and give it a, a color overlay and what I believe works best with video games uh, is when it's kind of uh, li a lighter uh, but mid-range color so it's not too fluorescent and it's not too dim uh, saturated sorry um, so it's just in that midsection between there so if I just any color will do actually pink green we can make it like um, an emerald looking one uh, and then all we need to do now is go ahead and go 100% and we've got a little emerald gem uh, mouse pointer there and of course you can use this in any way uh, as you can see the ones that I've previously done down here are uh, they look like uh, mouse pointers themselves but um, yeah pretty much go ahead get rid of the background so it's a PNG and we'll save that as um, a PNG and oops, this cursor 4 will be okay uh, then we'll try and find our assets folder and cursor 4, there we go and we'll just drag and drop that into Unity like that and click on our texture here and we'll just change it to cursor and change the filter mode to point then change max size to 32 and format to true color and then apply those settings and you have your cursor right and ready for you so now we want to go to edit we want to go to project settings and we want to go to player and it brings up uh, this little default cursor one here uh, do note that this is unity 5 I think it's different in unity 4 but uh, we'll just play around with this now and we just go ahead and drag and drop that onto the default cursor uh, screen right there and when we click play you should see your cursor has changed to whatever you have done now um, it's only one thing that I would find that I would say is very important and that is keeping the um, the point of your cursor or wherever you want the actual click functions to take effect is in this top left pixel right here so you want to have the pointy bit pointing there you can't have let's say uh, one going this way or or whatnot let's see what that looks like if we just paint around a little weird no 
that looks terrible okay so thank you guys for watching and uh sorry that this was so quick and so simple and you guys probably already know how to do that but it's also a very important thing i guess is having a good cursor in your games and seeing you as you guys are doing those uh, top down moba type things um yeah it's quite important so anyway thank you for watching um i will try and upload more frequently sorry for the you know not so frequent uploads and I, and I actually I'm really sorry for them because I kind of like the community that is building up slowly so yeah um, I will see you in the next episode thank you very much